Roll stiffness. Not something you often hear about at the car track, really, but it is very important. In cars, setting up roll centres and roll stiffness is one of the primary changes they make in order to maximise the performance of the car. They've got known suspension articulated linkages along with known spring rates and damper settings, so calculating roll centres and roll stiffness in that case is quite easy to do. It's much more difficult in a cart, but it's no less important. So what do we mean by roll stiffness anyway? Basically, it's the cart's resistance to rolling sideways under lateral load. A cart that's roll soft will roll a lot. A cart that's roll stiff won't roll much at all. So let's talk about cars for a moment. Rear wheel drive cars typically are roll soft in the rear and roll stiff in the front. That's so that when you get on the power, the weight transfers onto the rear tyres to give it drive off the turn. The softer a spring is, the more readily it'll accept weight transfer onto that corner of the vehicle. The stiffer a spring is, the more it will resist weight transfer to that corner of the vehicle. Front wheel drive cars are the opposite. They tend to have roll soft front end and roll stiff rear end. Again, this is to keep the weight on the end of the car that's providing the drive. Having one end of the car roll stiff and the other end of the car roll soft can actually cause the car to lift a wheel off the ground. This picture shows a 1965 Corvette which is very roll soft in the rear and very roll stiff in the front. As you can see, application of power has caused the car to transfer so much weight to the outside rear tyre, it's actually lifted the inside front tyre off the ground completely. Conversely, if you head down to the shops in your mum's Ford Fiesta at high speed, hit the brakes hard and turn into a corner, you'll transfer enough weight to the roll soft outside front tyre that you can actually lift the roll stiff inside rear tyre off the ground. Okay, so we've learned that the end which is roll soft is likely to get a lot of weight transferred onto it and the end that's roll stiff is likely to lift a wheel off the ground. But what's this got to do with carts? Carts are a strange combination because they're a rear wheel drive vehicle, which usually would call for having a rear roll soft setup. But, as you know, we need to lift an inside rear tyre off the ground in order to get a cart round corners because we don't have a diff. That's how you'd usually set up a front wheel drive car. Fortunately for you, the designer of your cart chassis has got the roll stiffness balance from front to rear almost perfect. It's your job to tweak those roll stiffnesses to get the cart exactly right for the track and conditions that you face each day. So what sort of changes are we talking about? Some examples might be loosening the third bearing, which makes the rear more roll soft. Adding a set of seat stays, on the other hand, will make the rear more roll stiff. At the front, loosening the floor tray makes the front more roll soft. Going to bolt-on front hubs or bigger front hubs makes the front more roll stiff. So how do we make the right choices? You need to understand when the cart wants to be softer in the front and stiffer in the rear to make the cart lean forward more, or conversely, when you want the cart stiffer in the front and softer in the rear in order to push the weight back more. Imagine you're driving your cart on an ice skating rink, an extremely slippery environment. It's hard to imagine the cart would grip up and get stuck to the track when you were driving around on ice. So the best way to get good corner exit drive would be to have a very soft rear end to get as much weight as possible on the rear tyres, creating traction and giving you drive. In the opposite conditions, on a track made out of chewing gum, the cart would bog down very, very easily on corner exit. So to prevent that, you'd want to rear roll stiff, front roll soft, so that the cart stays leaning forward for as long as possible, which will give you the best possible drive off the corner. So what are some signs you can use to help you make the right setup decisions based on what the cart's actually doing? A cart that's too roll soft in the rear, or too roll stiff in the front, will tend to come on very quickly. In the early laps when the tyres are cold and slippery, the additional weight transfer to the rear tyres actually makes the cart faster because it's getting the most drive off the corner possible. As the tyres heat up and become sticky, however, that rearward weight transfer becomes a disadvantage. The tyres become overstuck and the cart is boggy off the corner. In the other case, where you've got a cart that's too roll stiff in the rear or too roll soft in the front, the cart can take an extremely long time to come on. 
Because it's not transferring a lot of weight to the rear tyres on corner exit, the tyres need to be really, really sticky before it's getting the right amount of drive to come off the corner. So it takes a really long time to come on. In conclusion, a lot of people could save themselves a lot of headaches in setup if they understood roll stiffness. A common mistake made by people, particularly when they go to grippy tracks, is to continue making the rear of the cart softer in the hopes that it's going to give them less grip. They get frustrated when they find every time they go out they're more and more stuck to the track and they can't understand why. The reason is roll stiffness. They've made the rear of the cart too soft, the weight's transferring onto the back tyres and the cart gets stuck to the track. An understanding of roll stiffness is critical to setting up a cart on sticky, rubbered up racetracks. If you're going to a big meeting, make sure you understand the fundamentals of roll stiffness. It'll make your setup exercise a whole lot easier.